Good day, everybody. Old Cappy Boy here we are again with another drink here. This one is Imported Malta. I guess the company's called Malta or Maltex. I'm not sure, but it's a malt beverage. Or maybe the company's called Malta Maltex. It's a lot of mall sounds, but this is a malt beverage or a boisson malté sans alcohol. <laughs> no alcohol. Alcohol free, so... Yeah, this is, um, you know, some cultures like to drink malt or carbonated malt and all that. It's kind of like a soda, maybe. I don't know. It probably tastes closer to beer than anything else. It's a really interesting bottle, and this was given to me by my father. He said, here, try this for your channel. And I said, okay. What does this say here? Uh, it's like the refund thing bottle. This also says something about Quebec, so I guess it works in Canada, too. Cool. Here's the top of the bottle. It's not really all that interesting. It's just a bronze-looking thing. It's uh, 330 milliliters or 11.2 fluid ounces, so it's a little bit smaller than your normal bottle of whatever. It's uh, bigger than a can, though. Here's nutrition facts and ingredients, which is in French and Spanish, I guess, at the same time. That's a mouthful. It looks a lot more daunting than it is, only because they put... <laughs> all three translations in this but i guess they're covering their tracks serving size is a bottle we got 220 calories zero grams of fat 30 milligrams of sodium 50 grams of total carbs 43 grams of total sugar which includes 27 grams of added sugar so there's there's added sugar in this, and it comes from, I guess, the whatever ingredients. It's 57% of your daily sugar intake in that, and 2 grams of protein. And then there's a lot of other stuff there, but it's, like, not applicable. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. No, that's the nutrition. Or the ingredients, right? Oh, no, this is not significant. The ingredients are up here, thank goodness. I was going to say, I don't want to read all that tiny text. Uh, water, sugar, Barley malt, barley, caramel coloring, hops, carbon dioxide. And that's it. The The rest is in a different language. So it's essentially a beer. A non-alcoholic beer, I guess. Interesting. Well, I'll put it in this thing. Um, I need my bottle opener, I guess. Ooh. Good enough. We'll pour it in. Probably should have got my stein for this or whatever. It's a very brown, the brownest of brown liquids here. Oops, I made a splash. That's a good spot for it. No scent from a few feet away. It's very dark. It's kind of like a stout. Let's up, see what's up close. Oh, it smells of like... <laughs> So we used to have this thing called rye flavoring that I would dish out and they used it when they made breads. That's what this smells like. It smells like not so much the rye bread, but like the stuff that goes into the rye. <laughs> I don't know if I like that smell. It's a little bit too uh, strong. Let's sip. Holy moly, that's sweet. Wow, I was not expecting that to be sweet at all. From that scent... I was expecting, like, very bready, which it is. It's definitely bready, but that thing hits you over the head with sweetness. It's like, take, like, the sweet aspect of cola and then pour, like, beer in it? it it's a little, like, the ratio is, like, 75% soda water and then, like, 25% beer. That's what this kind of reminds me of. I'm just, I'm just, like, astounded by how sweet this is. It's kind of nice. Though, like, because I don't, like, drink this stuff on the regular, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's, like, a weird aspect. It's, like, super sweet bread. Kind of like raisin bread, except in liquid form. That, I think, is a really good comparison here. I, I kind of like it. I, I, I actually do. I think it's I think it's pretty tasty. <laughs> I may want to try other malt beverages without alcohol because this is very interesting. What does it say? Product of Denmark. 
we're all over culturally on this. So, yeah, this is a surprisingly tasty drink. I would say give it a go if you really want. It's um, health-wise not, like, great. It's a little bit better than your everyday soda. Um, not terrible on sodium either. It's it's a little high, but, yeah, I'd say go for it. It's, um, it's very interesting. So I'm going to give it, like, something surprisingly good out of rad, like, um... You know, a nice rainbow on your drive home out of Rand.